Alright there procrastinauts, mine's Baborian and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Last time we were here, we got one of the toughest missions I've had to do so far out the way with, the Moon 1 mission. It was pretty legendary, we made quite a bit of cash on it as well, which is going to set us up for our mission today. Now, there are a couple of choices we can do, I'm going to go and resume my save, load this bad boy up, and have a look at this. Now... 79,812. That's a lot of money. We can build some good rockets with that. Let's have a look at what we've got on offer. Now, Moon 2. This one. Land on the moon. 85 grand. I don't think we're going to do that today. No, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for Mimus 1, which is basically crashing onto Mimus' surface. That should be fairly easy and I've got a rocket that can already do that as well. Mimus isn't the hardest to get to but it's a simple mission just deorbit yourself and crash into it so I think we're going to do that. We'll do that one next. What's Sputnik 4? You've been around the moon and it's to explore curve in itself. Right, that's the pull orbit one. 65 grand. We could do that. Hmm. You see, I haven't really thought about this too much since yesterday's episode. You know what, let's go with... Uh, I don't know. Mimus 1, go on, that's the one I set out to do. Let's select that mission. Close you down. Go to the space center. Right, let's see. So, I think we're going to use Moonsat for this thing. Let's have a look at you. Alright. To tell you the truth, I could probably do this a little bit smaller, but I don't really want to mess with the, the dimensions of it. You know what, let's just get this thing on the go. Save launch. I probably should tweak me uh, fins as well with SAS, but, uh, with, with FAR should I say, but I haven't bothered to do such things yet. I probably should, but never mind. That's not for today. Not today, he says. Today we crash into Minmus and it will be legendary. So, we'll thrust up, all the way up, so, uh, oh, we don't have a sass on this, do we? Never mind, on the count of five, four, three, two, one, launch. And we're off again to Mimmus. Right. So, you've seen this like a thousand times by now, so I apologise that we're doing it again, but it's all part of the space programme, man. It's all part of the space programme indeed. You know what, I'm not even going to have sensitive steering, I want to have full control over this fucking thing. Um, Minmus, it's on a bit of a strange angle. Now, I'm going to keep this open and I'm going to keep my eye on this. Right. You know what, actually, let's have sensitive steering on. Where are you? So, as you can see, it's on a bit of a tilt. So that's going to prove a bit of a problem. We're going to have to match our orbits up side. It's going to cost us a bit of extra fuel, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Only about enough to like burn what we'd normally burn halfway to the moon. I'd say. Yes, hopeful, hopeful today, and we don't even have to bring the thing back. I am going to try and bring this thing's lower stage back, and we are picking up some speed, and we're going a little bit off course as well. I suppose it doesn't matter if we go off at a bit of an angle, for the simple fact that we're going to be angling ourselves anyway. The, uh, the thing is just trying to figure out which angle to go at. at 10,000 meters. I'm too high to be doing this shit. Alright, you need to be lower. Lower, much lower by this point. 11,000 meters, right. Hold it at the 90. Oh man! Right, bear with one second, I just really need to cough and sneeze. Right, that's a lot better. Right, this thing's having a bit of a trouble. I thought I was gonna mess this thing up completely then when I coughed. Ugh, right, 20,000 light years and we're going strong. Strong indeed, right, let's go down here. on, hold yourself there, 700 meters per second, right, this is looking pretty good, right, I think we need to start getting a little bit lower, because we're now starting to get out into the part of the atmosphere where it's so thin, we should be able to start turning ourselves without having too much force on us, um, right, surely there's something else I can talk about other, other than narrating what I'm doing right now, um, well, there's the KSP Weekly to come out this week. I don't know what news is going to be in it. PD doesn't tell us this until like the day before it goes out, which I think is tomorrow, which means I might be able to find out later what's in the weekly. 
but I'm hoping for some real good stuff. PD's pulled some like tricks out of the bag getting the developer updates. I'll be surprised if he's able to pull it off for like a third week on the run. But hell, the guy always pulls out surprises. Just like this orbit actually. Hopefully we can do this and be able to get that down as well. Alright, orbit. Uh, I need to do this quicker. If I can get up to 125 again, same as what I did yesterday, and then I should have time to do that there. There we go. Nice, that's plenty of time. Switch to. So, um, yeah, I tell you what, I've been checking out Scott Manley's reusable space program recently, and I've picked up some tips to help me out with later missions. Oh, yes. For some reason, that's one series I haven't bothered to watch his reusable space program stuff. I always seem to watch his other little videos of his little mod releases and, and whatnot. I don't know why, it's pretty good. You guys should check that out. It is pretty good. Alright, let's speed this up. Oh, but we should be coming in at such a speed where we're not going to be like burning up, I hope. 1,200, that's not so bad. If I can get myself down to under 800, once again I'll deploy the parachute. So you guys will be happy to know that I... Ooh, ooh, we had a little bit of a burn up there, right? You guys will be happy to know that I've deleted that sound. That goddamn awful sound to say, oh, the G-forces are bad. I did try to edit it and make it quieter, but nothing I did was making it work. It was horrible. The sound for burning up is still there because that's not so bad. That only hap that only happens when you need it to happen basically when when shit is exploding. And it adds to the effect if you ask me. But no, that other sound was god awful man and now we'll never be bothered with it again. So when these parachutes deploy, there'll be no awful sound. No awful sound at all. Uh come on, let's get yourself down to five hundred meters. I've got to catch up with that probe yet. Yeah. Right, here we go. Prepare for breakage. No dirty sound. Lovely. Can't be bad, but it is a bit quiet though. Without it, it's a shame. It is a shame, really. It's something that does need to be done uh, done about that. Indeed, 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 indeed. Right here we are. Hundred meters. How much is this going to be worth if I can recover the bastard? I think it's like, was it 9 grand, 13 grand, something like that? I hope it's not 13 grand, that's like unlucky as all hell. Alright, 19, get ready with the recover button. 13 grand, recycle, okay, tracking station, let's head on over to Moonsat on a suborbital trajectory you say. Ooh, right. You're on there, and we can get your solar panels now, extend panels. So I think, you know what, in all fairness, I could have probably recovered this, thinking about it. But, who knows. Who knows indeed. Let's get this out. Doesn't even matter if I toggled the parachute today, like I did yesterday in the recording that I never got to show off because I had to end it. That was rough. That was rough times, man. Let's turn ourselves around, get ourselves ready. Let's fix our attitude. I think that's what you call it. Anyway, the attitude. Whoop. Alright, here we go. Min miss ahoy. So, first things first. Circularization, and then we've got to tilt our orbit. We've got to tilt our plane. I think that's what it is. I mess around with that kind of guff. Rough times. Alright, that's nicely done. Minimus. Where are you, you cheeky little bugger? Set as target. So, I love this feature of the maneuver nodes business. Look at this. This tells us exactly where we need to be twisting and turning. 6.4 degrees minus. So, nope, that's the wrong way. Hmm. Right. Now, if I can get these in the middle of each other. It's pretty much 0 degrees, or 0.1. Still 0.1. Oh. Right, okay, that's about as close as I can seem to get it. It doesn't seem to want to work. I think we're just going to have to work with it. We shouldn't be that far off, to tell you the truth. So, where is that maneuver node? 
know what, could we not do it over the other side where it's we're closer to it saying this? Ascending node, alright, okay. Wrong way. Whoop. See if we can get this bang on doing it this way. No degrees. Okay, right, that's perfect. So where is this marker then? 13 seconds of burn is what we need. Sweet. Alright. Let's get you down a little bit. There we go. 17 seconds. 14. Go. It's not so bad, is it? Right. We can remove, remove the node, and now we can watch this thing twist and tilt until it gets to the point that we need it to do so. Um, have I missed it? I think I might have missed it. Oh well, never mind. Right, so where do I start plotting nodes to start hitting this thing? It's been a while since I've been to Minmus. I think the last time I went was a trip to the Dirty Grey, if I tell you the truth. That was a long time ago. Alright, uh, okay, so let's have a look at what we've got here. There we are, that seems like adequate enough. 878, should I say, I don't know where I got 37 from. Blah, blah, blah. 878. It's not so bad. Easily done, easily done with fuel to spare. 46 seconds of burn. Easily done. Quite an easy mission, no offense. This is an easy 80 grand. I imagine this will be quite a short episode as well. So um, I think we'll stop for a bit of a, a lucky loo round in this. Whoop, whoop, I've gone right past it. Right, it's time to sort this mess out. Hold yourself still, mate. And moosh. I want to get rid of the maneuver. No, whoop. Right, hang on, slow time down a little bit. It's getting a bit messed up here. Uh, oh god. Right, I'll try to do a thousand things at once. Right, stop. Get the Delta V down. That's the first thing we need to do. Alright. This bloody maneuver now. Get off. Remove yourself. Right. Now I can see around this here. Right, that kind of messed me up. But I can circularize once we get round there. We can get round in this quite slowly. So, we're leaving Kerbin, leaving Kerbin, and we're off to... Aha, there you are, coming into view. Minmus, the tiny wee whippet of a planet. That strange little green dot in the sky, which one Kerbal thinks is made out of ice cream, apparently, according to the mission anyway. Seriously, look, let, re read it. Oh, a marshmallow. Some think it's toothpaste. Fair dues, there we go. Alright. Yeah, let's have a look at see what we can do. We'll probably go have a bit of a dive into Keyfane Lakes. Because that's what I like to call them. I've decided Keyfane it is. Alright, so there's our periapsis. Come around at a bit of a weird angle, so. It's, nah, it's not going to be too hard. Look at that, 239 meters per second is what we're doing. So I think we're going to come in for a pretty fast descent on Minmus, and it looks like we're going to be coming down on the light side, perhaps, maybe? Who knows? Oh, where are you? Ah, Minmus, Kerbin, and the moon. Can't be bad. I wish you wouldn't do that, man. Bloody thing. It's a menace. Whoa! Oh, shit. I've completely burned and made myself thrust the other way. That's not cool, is it? Uh, okay, try this one again. <laughs> uh, I need the sass. This is going everywhere. I can't seem to concentrate on what I'm doing. Right, there we go. Get the periapsis right down. And then we'll come in for a collision when we get reach the periapsis. Have a bit of a browse around in this. <laughs> As we come in nice and close. Can't believe that we've like completely reversed our trajectory around it. But then again, it does have such a low um, gravity pull. All right here we are. Ah, oh, close up a Minmus. Let's see what we can do here. Where's our? Give me control. I need control. Sending details back to Kerbin. Kerbin. I don't know why I'm saying my ease like that today. Who knows? 
Who knows, I just feel a bit weird. Oh, wow! Look at that, we're actually really low on fuel. Who'd have funk it? Um, right. I hope I actually have enough to do this now. Um, the safest thing to do, I think, is going to come out and we're going to crash down where we're passing over. So we've done a close pass. We've done a close pass. That's good enough. I don't want to start burning my fuel from the other side and start trying to reduce my orbit from there. It won't end well. You won't have a good time. 15,000 meters. We're going to take that down to like zero. In fact, we are going to take that down to zero. It's not going to be like zero. It is going to be zero. <laughs> Right, here we go. Give me power! I need more power! This one, right, right now. There we go, that's good enough. And you know the saying, you know it's come in if it. Whoop! Here we go, right. And to get maximum impact, I'm going to point myself right at the floor. And we're going to boost this little pod off. You know, we need, to, we need to get detail, so it needs to go, like, spikes in, basically. Aha! It's off! Alright. If that's the way we're going, we need to stick in the ground like a lawn dart here. Crashing on Minmus. Here we go. Doo doo doo! Death. Right. Right, finish the mission. We've done another mission, ladies and gentlemen. And <laughs> look at that 136, 890. Jesus Christ. Wow. Alright, we'll close this for now and we'll head back over to the vehicle assembly building. So, and that's yet another mission complete to our list. Now, we do have quite a bit of money, but we don't have enough. Why do we not have enough? Well, let me show you something that I've been creating over time. Someone actually said get the KW rocketry pack after I posted saying like, yeah, I've had the fairings, that's all I'm going to have. Well, I actually got the rest of it just for a little mess around, you know, because I played it before. Oh, no, I haven't even got the craft. Shit. I guess I deleted it. But basically, if I want to build a, um, a really big rocket, say, out of... Let's have a look at the cost of this now. 37 grand. How much would it cost if I decided to throw this just on the bottom of it? Jesus Christ, like, the thing can near enough fit inside it. Alright, keep going up. Alright, it's these things in it. Alright, get off. Right, 37 grand. 171. That's expensive as all hell. Now, I built a rocket that cost like 600 grand last night with several of these stages in it and like the Juno rover that I built that I haven't actually shown off yet. Let's show that off because I know someone said do a sky crane mission. Uh, where are you? Juno rover, right, load. This is a something of my little creation right here. It can actually do it without these fins, so I may take these off. But um, yeah, check this little bad boy out. Using the Lionhead Sky Crane pod thing that the mod comes, the little rover comes with. I've built my own little rover underneath here, my own little Sky Crane. You can't really see it that well, but this will be coming out at some point in the future. This is why I wrote that extra mission, the one for Juna 2. Let's get it open and have a quick looky loo. Where are you? Juna 2, this one. So yeah, it has to have four rover wheels. This is basically built how I built my rover underneath all that mess in there. It is really cool, I've tested it, it works, and it's going to be fun to do when we do eventually come to that. I'll make it something special, I promise. But that's it for now, I guess. We've done another mission. So if you've liked this episode, guys, remember to leave a like, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you all in a bit, people. Peace out.